So if you watch Netflix from your smart TV, it's quite easy to control the playback from your phone. But what if you have a regular ass TV or you're just watching Netflix from your PC or even your Mac? Well, what do you do then? How would you control it from your phone? I know, I can read minds, so let me tell you. So I'm Vamsi from SmartDNS Proxy and in this video, I'll show you how to control your Netflix from your TV or your computer from your smartphone. And it's not just Netflix, you can control pretty much any streaming service, the likes of Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, Apple TV and the likes. So let's start with the most popular smart TV out there and if you want your TV, check the description below for the timestamps. Starting with Samsung TV Tizen OS, you can use the Samsung SmartThings app to control your TV from your phone. So just simply download the app, log in with your Samsung account, connect your phone to your TV and then select the TV from the available devices. From there you can just use the phone to remotely control your playback, navigation and even volume level. Unfortunately though, the keyboard doesn't work, but there are other features, so check out our other video that we've done for a full breakdown. Next, we've got LG TV running WebOS. To get started, download the LG TV Plus for your Apple or Android phone. The app will automatically find your smart TV. And then from there, you can control your LG TV, including Netflix in it, from your phone. All it needs is both TV and phone to be on the same Wi-Fi network. So if you have Chromecast built into your TV, then just simply cast Netflix from your phone. And you'll automatically see playback control options on your smartphone screen. You can either use that, or if you have an Android TV like Mi Box or Shield TV, you can just use the official Android TV remote app to control playback from your phone. If you happen to have an Nvidia Shield TV, then you can just use the dedicated Shield TV app to control the playback. It covers all the features that you may get from a physical remote. Unlike smart TV apps we've seen before, this app lets you use the keyboard on the phone. Finally, for Fire TV Stick, you can just download the Amazon Fire TV app and then once connected, the app will give you a trackpad, which can be used for up, down, left, right for navigation, which can also be used to control the playback speed. Just a Shield TV remote, this also lets you use the keyboard on your phone to type in on your Fire TV Stick on your TV. It's a lifesaver if you ask me. In a similar way, Apple TV and PS4 also have their respective apps to control Netflix from your phone. I'll leave the links for them in the description below of this video. Overall, it's easy to control Netflix from your smartphone if you're watching it on a TV or any other streaming device. But what if you're watching it on a PC or a Mac and you're just laid back on the couch and you want to control it? Well, in that case, you'll have to consider using an app and here are some of them. Chill Remote is a perfect app when you want to stream Netflix videos on your Mac or PC and want to use your iPhone to control the playback speed. I've covered it before on the best iPhone apps for Netflix and here's how it works. So say if I'm watching Netflix on my Mac, which I often do to connect it to the bigger screen, you can not only adjust the volume on Netflix using this cute little slider, but also play, pause, go forward, backwards on your Netflix play. It does not require your phone and Mac to be on the same Wi-Fi network. All it needs is an internet connection. To get it working, go to chillremote.tv in the Chrome browser and then add Chill Remote extension to your Chrome. Once you've done that, you'll see a six digit code that you can enter in your iOS device. Once you've finally done that, you're just ready to go. Also FYI, Chill Remote also works for Amazon Prime Video, YouTube, Hulu as well. So it's not restricted to Netflix alone, the only thing I do hate though is the banner ads, which you can remove by upgrading to the premium version. To control your Netflix on PC, I'd recommend the popular Unified Remote. Unlike the previous workaround, which was an extension and can only work in a Chrome browser, Unified Remote will work on every PC, including Netflix app on your PC. To get it started, simply install the app on your smartphone and then the server on your PC. This lets you control your mouse and keyboard with the smartphone and it works surprisingly well and gives you the option to play, pause, forwards, backwards and whatnot. 
The premium version also has a dedicated remote for Netflix, which gives you finer controls like raise, lower or mute your volume. You can select the current video, skip forwards or backwards and much more. You can give that a watch if you're interested. I'll leave a link in the description below. So there you go, using those apps you can control most of the common things that you normally do, like you know, pause and play, or entering full screen, or even controlling the volume up and down, and even jumping onto the next series when you finish an episode or whatnot. Speaking of Netflix, check out smartdsproxy.com if you're keen to unblock geo-restricted content on Netflix, that way if you're outside the US you can watch American Netflix which has tons more titles for you to watch, especially during quarantine. As always, I'm Vamzi, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.